Okay, what's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up your live trading account on the broker that I personally use now, which is called Mugen Markets. Okay, these guys, I like them because the deposits and withdrawals, they use crypto, USDT, which is the, the digital dollar, and they've got a bunch of other options as well, but I like the USDT. Deposits and withdrawals are almost instant. So you guys can see here, uh, you have access to over 200 Forex pairs. Um, you also can trade cryptos, you can trade commodities like gold, and you can also trade my favorite, which is the US stocks, okay, which is the NASDAQ and the Dow Jones, which are indices. And an indice is a pile of uh, stocks and companies all piled into one chart and graph, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys my dashboard and the performance, how it tracks everything. It's pretty epic. You guys can see um, yeah, how it all works. You can get your account in four easy steps. You sign up, deposit funds, download trading platform, which will be MT4 or MT5, and then you start trading, okay? And then you can start with a demo account if you don't have uh, cash to risk. And these are the different kinds of accounts you can also get, okay? You've got your pairs over there, and they, they also have uh, an affiliate program, which is absolutely epic as well. And um, you guys can check it all out, okay? So what we're gonna do, show you guys how to create your live account. So you simply go to the top over here, you click live account. Okay, so you just simply put in your, your name and email, and, uh, and you just fill the questions in that they just ask simple and easy and then you get your own dashboard which i'm going to go over to mine which is over here this is how it looks all right so you come over here it can track your performance so over here you got all kinds of information and you can do your deposits over here um, manage your funds wallet finances open accounts you can open multiple different accounts as well and then um, for example to do a deposit you simply go over here you click deposit funds and these uh, are the different crypto options you can have to do a deposit you got your bitcoin ethereum usdt etc and then you go down this is how you do your your deposit okay so you come over here you select for example usdt erc20 this is your wallet address okay so you copy this address then you go to your crypto exchange wherever you keep your funds, like Binance. Um, if you a South African as well, I use Altcoin Trader to send my cash to my bank account. I go from my bank account to Altcoin to Binance, then into my individual brokers. Okay, so to do a deposit, you just just copy this wallet address over here. Boom, copy, and then where uh, in your broker, I mean in your crypto exchange, you then just click withdraw. And then when it says withdraw, it will have an option to paste the wallet address. So this address here, you copy it and you paste it in whatever exchange you keep your crypto on. Paste it in there, click withdraw, and then your crypto will arrive over here. Boom. Then you do a transfer from the dashboard into your actual trading account. So I have one here. And it can, can show the performance of this past week. You can see I did a deposit of... $565, did a withdrawal of 900, which was a profit of 300 uh, or so dollars, which is around, how much is that? 60% profit or so. And I did a withdrawal and it all went smooth and great. So you can see also what's cool is because this platform tracks your, your data, your trade history, your performance. You can see the specific pairs. I trade majority the NASDAQ and um, it's absolutely epic guys so if you want to start your live trading account you can simply click the link in the description it's over there if you need any personal help you can can reach out to me anywhere and then i will help you set your trading account up okay so i'm going to show you guys quickly how to download your your trading platform mt4 as well so what we're going to do is we are going to go download center okay and then over here, you, depending on what device you have, MT4, download your MT4 platform, okay? Click this. And then you can see it over there. Okay, you just click next. And then it's gonna open you up to uh, MT5, which you don't need. So after it's done here, you're gonna see what happens. Finish. 
and then it's going to open you up to MQL5. You don't need this, guys. You can just close it. <sighs> wow. Excuse me. Okay, so over here, you can see these are the two folders that got downloaded. So you click this one, click it twice, and then it will open uh, the MT4 trading platform. You can check it out over here. Okay, so BTC. So you can see now after the withdrawal I did, my, my balance is empty over here. So after I do the deposit again, which I'm, I'm going to do uh, this week, and then it will your cash will show over there. These are your specific instruments, your, your asset classes, the pairs that you trade. To add a new pair, you click File, New Chart, and then you add your, your pairs over here. And then if they aren't showing up here, you click Control and U. This will give you access to all of the specific pairs. So now if I say indices, if I want to add in an extra pair like Ripple, click that twice, close this. Now I say file, new chart, and it will be available. So you click that. And then what you do is I click this button at the top, which gives this space here so that you can uh, predict more it's easier to read price action if you have that small space it helps you see where it could potentially go then i right click and i exit the grid then i zoom in a few and then i change these candlesticks at the top from from that bar chart to candlestick and then we are pretty much set up you got your your time frames over there for our the daily which each candlestick is a day in time or if i go to m1 each candlestick is one minute in time okay so this is what you do now to to log into your actual uh, account on this the platform you'll say file log into trade account and then over here is where you put in this okay so on your account you have your your live account number over there you copy that you, uh, and then you paste it into there and the password will be the password that you created or or that you get on an email all right guys so that's how you set your account up if you guys want any personal help feel free to reach out to me anytime and i will uh, set you up all right peace guys if you enjoyed this kind of content hit the like button and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one peace